Scribe Tango. If you're looking for software to help you create tutorials with a bunch of extra features, you're in the right place. We're going to put them head to head and we want to know which is the better software. So let's check them out. So the first thing we're going to do is jump into Scribe. So Scribe automatically creates step-by-step -step guides as you perform a task. This feature significantly reduces the time and effort required to actually document your processes. Scribe's browser extension allows you to capture workflows directly from your web browser, making it easy to document your online processes and tasks. They also offer a desktop application for capturing workflows performed on your computer, and this ensures that you can document any process regardless of the application you're using. Scribe allows you to annotate screenshots with text, arrows, and shapes, and can help you highlight important details and provide clear instructions. It also allows you to edit and customize the steps in your guide, adding additional information or clarifying instructions. This ensures that your guides are accurate and easy to understand. Scribe makes it easy to share your guides with others via links or embedding them into your internal documentation. This facilitates knowledge sharing and collaboration within your team. One or two of their drawbacks though is because Scribe primarily focuses on creating text-based guides with screenshots, offering limited support for video tutorials. This can be a bit of a drawback if you do prefer that video-based documentation. Also, while it allows you to customize your steps, its editing features are relatively basic compared to dedicated video editing software. It can also limit your ability to create highly polished or more interactive tutorials. All right, we're jumping into Tango now. So Tango creates step-by-step -step instructions as you perform tasks. It seamlessly integrates screenshots and text. It also allows you to record workflows even without an internet connection, making it highly flexible for various work environments. You can use Tango's built-in tools to annotate screenshots, highlight crucial steps, and add context for better understanding. Also, um. It's easy sharing and collaboration options allow you to instantly export um, your work like in formats like PDFs. Um, you can also uh, collaborate, which it means if you are working in a team and you have remote members, it's fantastic. Tango keeps all of your guides organized in a central library, uh, complete with a search and categorization feature for easy access so you can just go and search and then also all your recorded workflows are securely stored in the cloud uh, and of course this ensures that you can access and edit them from literally anywhere that you are so that's great one or two of their drawbacks is their limited free version so the free version of tango has restrictions on the number of guides you can actually create which may not suffice for larger teams or frequent users like myself. Tango's export options are also somewhat limited and compared to like tools um, in their same category. And this, of course, can affect how the content is actually reused. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, both of the software that we just viewed is amazing. They are feature rich. Of course, there are one or two drawbacks that we have to address. We have to keep that in mind but they are both amazing. The takeaway here really is to go ahead and use both of them and see which one works for you personally. If this was helpful, drop us a like and we'll see you next time.